Sunday morning. It is Sunday morning, March 18th, and we are getting ready to have the kids over for breakfast this morning. I need a lot more coffee. As I said in last week's vlog, we were up until very late last night watching movies with friends, and I, didn't get, I don't think I got to bed until like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. It was really late, maybe even later than that. So uh, I need some more coffee. <laughs> They're coming over, we're gonna have pancakes and waffles and bacon and yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I think the rest of the day is just relax and chill, which is a good thing. <laughs> All right, I've got some sewing projects lined up for this week as you can see. And um, yeah, that's it for the moment. I'm hoping for a quiet Sunday, but we'll see how that works out. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is Monday. It's like one o'clock. I honestly haven't gotten a lot done today. Um, we had kind of a lot of stuff happen over the weekend and including, you know, hanging out with friends and going to their house to play, to watch movies and have dinner. And we didn't get home Saturday night until like one o'clock in the morning. And there was just a lot of stuff going on and I didn't get much sleep. And today I'm just dragging. I'm <laughs> just... I don't think there's enough coffee today. I'm just, yeah, you, I even look, I look tired. I just, yeah. So I did get my writing commitments done this morning. I did get some cleaning around the house done this morning. And I will probably get a little bit of sewing or something done in the art room today. Um, but right now, I'm gonna head out to go run a couple of errands and of course get the mail and that sort of thing. So, I'll be hi guys. So it is noon think. Um, anyway, it's Tuesday, March 20th. I only know that because tomorrow we have something going on Wednesday the 21st. That's why I know today's the 20th. Um, anyway, I spent the morning getting my workout in and uh, chatting with my friends, the Zoomers, doing a couple of little things around the house, nothing big. I'm headed out right now. I've got to go pick up some art parts. I need to go to Joanne's and I get need to get something from there. Um, I need something else too, and if they don't have it, then I'll stop at Michael's. I do have a coupon for Michael's. And then I need to get some groceries because we don't have anything decent for dinner tonight. So I need to do that. Um, I'm hoping they have some good sort of protein thing that I can put in my salad. I need to go back to eating salads. Yeah. So anyway, there's that. And, um, changing up my diet a little bit so um, that's it for the moment <laughs> I don't know uh, there's not a lot going out on it's gray and gloomy outside um, which is fine it looks like it's about to rain um, which it might we've gotten a lot of rain lately which is good so I'm gonna go go out and do my thing hopefully the mail will be sorted and I can get that up before I come home and yeah I'll be back. So we're at the grocery store and I just wanted to get on camera really quick and say how, how funny it is. So it's 54 degrees outside. It's overcast and drizzly. Everybody's dressed in their snow gear and here I am in my tank top. This ought to be interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try to do this quick because my husband's too home any second and I'm cooking dinner all at the same time. So I got this free uh, pattern download from um, Caroline Fairbanks Critchfield. I'll include her website in the description. Call It's called SoCanShe.com and this is the Zola pen case which is super cute and was pretty easy to put together. It looks like this when it's all closed up. And the, it's based on a Japanese um, style pen case. And hang on, open one. it up, it becomes a tray. It like really does open up all the way, which I thought was pretty cool. So I thought I'd try to make one. It's not really a beginner pattern, I don't feel. Um, there's a lot of little fiddly bits to it, but that being said, it's not super hard. Um, and um, it's all straight stitches. So yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. It's like maybe intermediate pattern. So, 
I had a hard time getting any of the snap in because of all the layers of like interfacing and stiffener and yeah so anyway pretty cute anyway I'm gonna go back to cooking my dinner before I burn everything uh yeah because that's happened before and uh anyway <laughs> all right I'll be back hey guys it is Wednesday morning March 21st I knew that, see, because we have an appointment later today. That's how I knew. Don't get all excited. <laughs> As you can tell, my hair is wet. Hello. Uh, I got my daily writing in and post social media postings. I got my treadmill time in, of course, coffee and breakfast and a shower. Uh, I'm going to head out to Hobby Lobby no now because I need to have some more of that cactus fabric. I just need to. I love it so much. And I need a few more bits and pieces for some sewing projects. So, yeah, we're going to go do that. I'll be okay, so I'm in this, I don't know, mood to experiment with a bunch of different pencil bag patterns, basically, that I've found, been finding on the internet and on YouTube, and they just have me intrigued, so I've been making bags. <laughs> bags. First a bag from my Traveler's Notebook by Chic Sparrow. Then I made another, the other pencil bag I already showed you guys last night. Uh, I have another one that I want to make and then I just heard about another one. I'm getting my sunglasses, sorry. I just heard about another one on YouTube this morning that I'm going to, after I get back from Hobby Lobby, I'm going to sit and watch the video. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I told my husband a couple of days ago that I really needed our next house to have an art room big enough for me to have stations. So I need a mixed media station, a painting station, a sewing station, etc. And some place where I can have my not only my brushes and paints and journals out all the time when I want to work on them without emptying a closet, but also my sewing machines so that I don't have to dig equipment out of the closet anymore that's getting really old. Um, and right now I'll insert a picture here somewhere and this is just a partial picture of the part of the room I could photograph this morning on very little coffee um, my it looks like a sewing bomb went off in my office because of course I had to drag out the box of all the thread notions and then I had to drag out you know the different bins of cotton fabrics and the interfacing and yeah so it looks like a sewing bomb went off I've been doing some more sewing today. Right now, sewing is just consuming my mind. I have no idea why. It hasn't been this bad in a long time. Um, I made this, um, it's called a retreat bag. Um, it looks like an old fashioned men's shaving kit. And it is by Emmeline Bags, the pattern. It's called the retreat bag. Um, the pattern is uh, free, I believe. Uh... I shouldn't say that because I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I've got a few of these patterns. Some of them were free, some of them weren't. Anyway, um, I'm pretty sure this pattern was free. Let okay, me I was right. So the pattern is free, uh, but you need some wire frames to make the bag um, and, and have it look like this. You could make the bag without them. It would be obviously wouldn't fold down like this. The frames um, you have to get from Emmeline. And that's my computer restarting because I don't know what was wrong. Anyway, I'm looking here. I don't see a picture of the frames. Hang on. Okay. So here's some other of the metal frames. They're these big metal handbag frames. So I'll put the link for um, the pattern. Um, and um, it has a list of what parts that you'll need um, in the description below. But it's a super cute bag. Again, it's called the Retreat Bag. There's two sizes in the pattern. This is the small one. There's actually one that's even bigger. And we're going to see if I can open this one-handed. Um, it's going to be challenging. You know, I could, I could get that tripod out, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. So closed, it looks like that, and then when you open it, it opens up nice and big. So and there's lots of lots of room in there. Plus there's two pockets. So yeah, I can't wait to make the bigger one. Super cute. Um and, and not honestly not super hard. There's a lot of really good YouTube videos out there. 
on how to sew the retreat bag by Emmeline Bags. Um, if I can find one, I'll link them below. Uh, there is one favorite channel I have that has um, good directions for sewing this bag. Uh, that when I did this bag, it wasn't super hard, but I thought the pattern was a lot more fussy than this one. This one was very straightforward. The directions were really easy. On this one, when I printed the pattern, I had to also print her blog post to figure out what she was talking about. So there's that. All right, and I downloaded, of course, another bag pattern today. I don't know what the deal is with me and bag patterns lately, but anyway, got one more to do. And yeah, that's the state of my, the corner of my art room. It's still a, a big giant mess. Anyway, I'm having fun making bags. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is still technically morning. <laughs> it's 11.42, March, Thursday, March 22nd. I only know that because I'm sitting at my desk. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much going on right now. Um, yeah, anyway, there's a lot going on right now. So issues with my online pharmacy and them getting, they refill prescriptions from my doctor, which for some reason this month seems to be an issue. We refinanced the house recently and there's like a bunch of email and phone calls about that this morning. And there's just one thing after the other this morning. I did manage to get on the treadmill and get a few minutes of peace and quiet time. And then I'm now I'm drinking my bottled water and then I'm, gonna, I'm still in my pajamas. So I'm going to go take a shower and get dressed and maybe get some sewing, more sewing done. Or at least get stuff cut out that I want to sew so I can get the fabric bomb that has happened in my art room off the floor. Because, yeah, can you see over my shoulder? Yeah, it's bad. It's bad. So anyway, there's that. So that's the plan for today. I do need to start filming for April. Uh, commitments and I have the secret project I can't talk about that involves I uh, have I even said who involved I don't even know now what I've said so I can't say too much anyway it's a secret project I have to work on and that date for that happening is April 16th so if I can film anything and sneak anything in little clips or whatever I would you know I will I might not be able to do that I might not be able to say much except tell you where I'm going you know like the city that I'm going to might be all it can do so we'll see um it involves me being in front of the camera which you would think me being on youtube i'd be okay with that actually not so much so <laughs> uh, we'll see we'll find out um that's it for today other than getting the mail nothing exciting and uh yeah so I'll hey be guys <sighs> okay i'm at it interfacing <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me lately. I'm enjoying my uh, rediscovering uh, sewing. I haven't done this much sewing in forever that didn't involve something mixed media. Um, I don't know. But anyway, today I made this cute little, it's called a Wonder Clip Bowl. And when it is um, zipped up, it actually look. I think it looks like a little fortune cookie or a little taco. Um, I'll insert, insert some pictures here, but um, the hardest part was getting the zipper pull back on. And if you want to um, try, if you know how to sew and you want to try any of these patterns, I'm going to try to remember to link the patterns or video in the description below. Um, one of my favorite new channels that I have found is called Thread and Bird Cage and Thread, I think. Yeah, bird cage and thread. Anyway, I'm gonna try to um, uh, link their videos d below. This pattern is hers. She sells it. Sorry, right there. She sells it in her Etsy shop. Um, this is another one of her patterns. That's a free pattern. So, but I, I'm out of interfacing. I haven't used this much interfacing in like 20 years. <laughs> like my stash is gone. So, anyway, and I also have to get the mail. So I'm gonna go do that. Guys, it is Friday. March 23rd. Um, anyway, it's like 3.18 in the afternoon. I've had time just fly right by me. Closet's wide open. Let's close that. Um, this is a guest room, by the way. I have been working on more sewing projects. I did 
a project for my friend Cindy Utter, which I filmed, um, which is a sewing project, but also has to do with chronic pain and physical health issues. So you all stay tuned for that. I have to edit it and make something that makes sense out of the video footage um, that could be used as a tutorial. I also have to write up the pattern and there is gonna be a free pattern that goes with it. Yes, it's free. Um, I also made another one of these retreat bags. I made the larger size and other than the fact that I sewed it with the cactus upside down. Oops. That's okay, I like it anyway. Um, and the small one is inside of it. And then I have the pencil uh, bag that I did yesterday and the other one I did the other day. Anyway, I'm going to sit and do um, a lot of the seamstresses here on YouTube um, do um, monthly makes where they share their favorite patterns and the things they've made over the month. Um, I don't think I'm going to do one every month because generally I don't do a lot of sewing. This is this week has been the exception to that rule. But I have one more project to do and then I'm going to film a March makes for you all and share uh, what I liked and which patterns I thought were um, easy to follow. Um, if you read all the directions, which, yeah. <laughs> I made one, the first one went flawlessly. I was just distracted on the second one. So anyway, um, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna go get the mail. It's family dinner night and I am making corned beef and cabbage. So that's it, I'll be back. Funny face. There you go. We are headed out in the rain, <laughs> the gloom, because we just want to go do something. We need to go grocery shopping, maybe go to Costco. I talked him into taking me back to Hobby Lobby again for some more fabric for some, because I'm out of a few things already again, and I have more projects to do. I do need to stop sewing for a while in a few days and film for April because I haven't even started that yet for the April art commitment so <coughs> and April's next week I know right so that's gonna be an issue so I need to Eight take days. a day off from sewing and film a bunch of stuff but anyway um, that's it right now it's really rainy and gloomy here in California but that's okay because we need the rain it always needs the rain right so anyway we are headed into Morgan Hill and uh, yeah but it's we'll take you with be us. Sunny tomorrow and the rest of next week. So that's so weird because it's so dark and gloomy today. I don't know. All right, we'll be back. meal boxes at the store today for dinner it's called a beef noodle bowls and it is like a meal in a box you have to cook it it has all the ingredients in there and the recipe like idiot proof hope hopefully idiot proof recipe so but he's had two rum and cokes so yes. we're not letting him touch the sharp pointy things you got some cock sauce i mean um rooster sauce okay watch your words we gotta like it's got a rooster on we're it. a child friendly channel that's What's a what's a oh, yeah, what's yeah, a male yeah. chicken? I'm gonna get demonetized. What's this? I don't know. I'm thinking that's maybe pink. The soy sauce, potion soy sauce. Soy sauce. Potion sauce. This must be Poison the um, sauce. Sriracha sauce. I bet that's a sriracha. No, no, that's a sriracha. This is sriracha. This is probably the oil, the uh, sesame oil. Oh, maybe. Okay. What's it? Oh, maybe. Okay. Over right here. I'm slicing I'm, mushrooms. I'm getting out of the way of the camera because I don't want to be seen. Oh, since when you don't want to be seen? <sighs> okay. Heat half of sesame oil in a large high-sided pan over medium heat. Okay, we'll use this one here. Medium heat. That's about a five. 
when oil is shimmering, add garlic and ginger and saute, stirring until fragrant for about a minute. We want some, uh, we want fragrance. Yeah, but I gotta smush the garlic up. Does it need to be crushed or diced? What does it say? Well, it's, that's part of under preparing the ingredients. I know, but I don't remember mince what you said. Garlic. I'm still Fra stuck in the mushrooms. Mince garlic. Mince. You mince it. Oh, okay. Can you mince? Yeah, well, you got Don't mince any words with me. Give me a minute. Let me try this thing here. Open this up. See what's in here. Hopefully it's oil. Hopefully. Not too good it's not. It's not Well, it's surprised. only one that's not labeled, so. Oh, yeah, it ginger. is. Look at that. I got oil. Okay, good. I should be turning on already, too. Oh, yeah, it's, it's on five. I know, but I'm not done with the mushrooms well, no, it's yet. It's got to heat up. But that's not going to take that long as you think. Oh, okay. This is only half of the oil. About half. Yeah. Yeah, that's half. Okay, the rest right there. Is the rest of your sesame oil? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, we want the garlic and the ginger to saute for about a minute. They need to both be minced? Yes. Minced garlic, trim in the star skin of ginger and mint. Yep. Capiche? Yep. Okay. What's that? The garlic? I mean the ginger. The ginger? Good job, dear. I barely got started. What do you mean, good well, job? You, you're, you're mincing. You did a good job mincing. What? I'm giving you a compliment and you're like looking at me like I'm crazy. Well, you are crazy. You're married to me. Of course you're crazy. I should just make this the whole vlog. It's kind of funny. What? The whole, like, routine. Be careful. You don't want to, like, cut yourself. I'm not going to cut myself. I'm not the one who's been drinking. Well. Except where I'm going to keep hitting the, my kitchen's not big enough. Your kitchen? What do you mean your kitchen's not big enough? I kept whacking my knife on the pot. while that's heating up in the pan. Maybe. Or we'll just put it in there. Okay. Look at that. We got minced. I'm going to let you put it in and give it and stir or whatever shit you need to do. Well, I, I'm not going to do that until you're ready for that. With the kale. Okay. Why do I see kale? God. Dinosaur, it's got dinosaur kale. It's dinosaur kale. That's what it's called. I don't know why it's called that. It's like Tyrannosaurus Rex or Stegosaurus Rex? Um, no. Stegosaurus? Brontosaurus? Velociraptor? Dinosaur? No idea. Yeah, it is. 
Stuff to put the kale. Well, something to put the kale in. That works. We got tons of bowls around here. Yeah, but the kitchen's not big enough. No. Kale. And what about the scallions? Did you do that yet? I didn't do them yet. No. What am I supposed to do with them? You're supposed to rinse and trim and discard the roots. Yeah. Thinly sliced. So you rinse the kale, stack the leaves, and slice and tear into bite-sized pieces. Yeah. Okay. I think the scallions are the last thing. Once you got the scallions done, you could uh, drop the garlic and ginger and saute them for about a minute until fragrant. So we add mushrooms to the pan with aromatics. Aromatics, and that's these. Aromatics? What's the, what are those? That's the garlic oh, and ginger. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, saute aromatics. It's aromatics, not aromatics. That's not a word. Whatever. Ready? I'm gonna throw it in. Yeah. I'm tossing. I'm tossing, man. I'm tossing. Let me get the little thing here. You know, I didn't do anything. this for about a minute. Once we throw the mushrooms in, uh, we do that for about two minutes. Mushrooms next? Right. Mushrooms. And the sink's going to be full of dirty dishes. Why not? Because you're cooking. Yep. Well, we are cooking. It's not just me. You're cooking. Mm. What am I doing? Stirring. That's right. That's not cooking. Throw the rest of the shit in. I mean, stuff in. You mean the kale? Yeah, kale and scallions. Oh, okay. Season with salt and pepper, and let that cook for another three minutes. And transfer it to a plate and set aside. Well, you could just turn the pot off and set it aside, or do you need the pot for something else? Uh, we're gonna brown the beef. Oh. Okay. So we need another. This is a messy meal. No, so take all the stuff here, take it out of the pan. Cook it, take it out of the pan, cook the meat, put it back. Cook the meat, yes. And with the rest of the sesame oil. Got it. Got it. Okay. You're supposed to pat dry the meat with a paper towel. I'm not going to do that. No. I like it. I like it bloody and red. And <laughs> I like juicy. I hope there's no vegans out there or vegetarians out there. If you're a vegan, please shut this off. Please we, continue and go to the next video. We don't we don't want to offend anyone. We really don't. Well, I don't. Well, if you're offended, call one eight hundred E A T S H I T. 
Did you just say that? I'm gonna have to take. Oh yeah, yeah. I... Holy cow! Don't listen to him. He's had too much alcohol. Okay, go to the tail end. It's been two minutes. That's what happens when I let you be on the vlog. Right? Oh, my oh the skeletons too. Well, you brought up the stuff oh, without getting offended. Really? You're going to get offended over this? We can maybe put that in the, we can put all this in that white, in the, in the glass bowl. What do you think? Oh, yeah, instead of dirtying it in the bowl. Yeah, we're going to do this for about three minutes. So it's 7 Eleven, so at 7 14, we take it out. Oh, I'll put some salt and pepper on here. He says, I'm sorry. My guess is people are going to be amused, so don't let that give you license to have free reign, though. By the way, my name is Fred. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty wilted. Okay. We'll take that. Should we take it out? Okay. this. Okay. And then we want to add the beef. Add some salt and pepper too. Not good for my blood pressure. Yes, I know, Mr. Perfect Two has perfect blood pressure. It's not perfect. It's only one, one ten on the seventy. Right, right. I'll maybe about one fifteen, maybe. Add the beef, simmer with a quarter with some salt, uh, breaking it up. So beef is brown. Yeah. I'll break it up here. You know, because breaking up is hard to do. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we're talking about that. Oh, it's going to watch it. So there's a trick to that. You get this thing out. Well, that's another thing that is water. I know. So wait, move. It's easier, though. Yes, I know it's a potato masher. But when you're crumbling ground beef while it's cooking, We have to add the Hoshin sauce, the soy sauce, and the sriracha. To the meat? Yeah. Ooh, I like doing that. I'll do that. Oh, that, that gets all the big chunks off. Got that. Okay. Yeah. Hoshin sauce. Hoshin. All of these. Yep, just put them all in. Said. Add hoshin, soy, and sriracha. Oh, yeah, and the soy Skip sauce, Skip or too. use half or, or less heat. For the 
sriracha? Well, no, it just said skip or half or less heat, but I like heat. So put half, half sriracha. Poison. Poison. We'll do half sriracha. You're gonna like hot. I like it. My intestines don't care for it too much. Well, hit in the morning. Mm. We always we have um, that sauce in the fridge, so same rooster sauce. Do we? Yeah, but there should be some. Then we set this aside. It's still, we got some. We still have some raw meat in here. Cook. Keep cooking it. It's cooking. I'm browning beef. It ain't gonna stick. I'm not worried about it sticking. That doesn't look raw. It was a small piece that was raw. It won't take long to cook. It's all nicely crumbled now. When do we add the veggies back? So, uh, and then. so then uh, we we brown the beef. So hold, we got another. Remove from pan and sit a, let us and set aside until step six. So we can maybe move move it over there. Okay. While beef browns over a clean, dry surface, use a hand to gently separate the long strand noodles. Uncover boiling pot of water, season generously with salt, and more salt. Um, add long life noodles and cook, simmering occasionally to prevent sticking until al dente, about two to three minutes. Drain and rinse with cold water for 30 seconds to stop the cooking. Then you plate everything. Yeah, I would just leave that cook. I wouldn't turn it off, let it go. The noodles won't take very long. And as soon as they're ready, Put everything back in that bowl, half white. So you want me to set this aside? You want to keep cooking it? I'll oh, turn it down to low. You don't want to lose too much of that juice because that's supposed to flavor everything. Sure. We need some big bowls. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna take a shortcut. We're not gonna rinse this with cold water. No. Uh, no. We, have these, we have these two nice Asian uh, square bowls. We we'll use those. We we'll use those. I think that noodle's pretty good. Uh, is it al dente? Mm, I think so. Okay. Here, what do you think? I like it. Okay. Want to just put one in each? Oh, you're just going to put it in this one? Okay, so just mix it up in here, right? Okay. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Put it all back in? Well, what does it say to do here? It says... I'm cooking it like spaghetti because you know I'm Italian, so... Add the long life noodles to the sautéed vegetables to pan... Just, let's just put it all together. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm just going to put it all together. All together now. Kale in there, put everything together. This is a big, this is a big dinner. This yeah. one for two people? Holy shit. It's too much food for two people. We're going to have leftovers. Holy shit. That kind of looks interesting. Yeah. It's an adventure. What is it called? It's by. The company plated, not sponsored, by the way, but if you want to sponsor, you can. And this is their beef noodle bowl. These um, dinner kits are available at Safeway, at least in my area. 
And, um, yeah, the gentleman who is from Plated that was at the store today adver helping advertise um, described them as like Blue Apron or those other food subscription boxes only without the subscription. You can just get them when you want. So that's it. We are gonna. It was I think seventeen dollars. It was I think seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, seventeen dollars. So we're gonna enjoy our Saturday night dinner beef noodle bowl, and I hope you enjoyed this crazy ending to the vlog. Um, don't forget to have a great weekend, have a great week, and above all, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll both see you next week. Bye, Ta -ta. bye guys. Bye. -bye.